Hello everyone, and welcome back to Flint Hills. So I was just streaming on this map, pretty good, got some stuff done. Um, I brought all these bales back here. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since the last video on here, but if you watched the stream then you would have known what we were doing. So yeah, we brought the bales back to the farm and then I started selling them. I sold all the grain that was left over in the bins and yeah, that's about it. And I was just looking here at this farm. It's actually a dairy farm here. That's a thing I want to do, is buy a dairy farm on this map. It'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so what I'm going to do in this uh, episode is get these uh, two fields here need to be replanted. The big field is already done, so that's good. Let me drop down again here. Turn this off. There we go. Uh, what do they need? Let's see. So field four is done with corn. <clears throat> Five and eleven we need to get going here. So they're good. They just need drilling. I can't remember what actually what what cedar we we're using. Was it this? Um, no, no, here we go. This was the one we were using for the corn. Uh, <clears throat> can I want to plant something else. This, oh, okay, this one can do other stuff. All right, we'll get this guy over there on a the course play. Oh, I might need to cultivate, actually. I don't think this one... We'll try it. I don't think this one can uh, direct plant it, direct seed, whatever. But I'll try it. Is it just planting fertilizer? Is that working? No, we gotta we gotta cultivate first. That's not a problem. Scrap the the John Deere, the eighty nine sixty for that. Then that shouldn't take too long at all because we got a pretty big setup over there. So I'll just park this guy up and get the John Deere over there. All right, let's get this guy on on a course. See if I remember how to do this. Course generation, field five, headland. Uh, let's do two. Oh yeah, there's uh, poles in this field, isn't there? So he's probably going to hit that, but whatever. Deal with that when the time comes. Uh, this guy here, I was selling bales with this truck. And actually, I made a lot of money from selling these bales. Because I made the bale capacity like 20,000 liters. I'm not sure how much that is because we have the unit converter thing on there. So, But yeah, I'm making a lot of money from those bales. So I'm just going to go and load up this guy again, oops, and we'll go ahead and sell them.
Yeah, as you can see, this guy does not like these uh, wire poles, or whatever they're called, electric poles. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this myself, and then we'll uh, sell off those bales. That last load was 43,000. That's crazy. There's such good money in the bales. My, uh, this shouldn't take too long here. Now I'll just set him onto a different uh, waypoint. I like this setup actually. I guess it's like plowing and then it's just packing it after crumbling it. Pretty nice. Gets the job done pretty fast, so. Oh, this course might not work because he's gonna hit those. Hmm. Okay. Might have to use a, a regular worker to go up and down the field, maybe. Because that's not gonna work. Lift this up. I don't want to get it stuck through there. Come on, turn. There we go. Yeah, it might just be best to use a regular worker for this. So I'll just go up here one more time. Actually, maybe I'll go up and then down again. And then I'll set a, a worker on there. Man, I wish they made these poles with no collision. But yeah, I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll set a worker on there. Alright, here we go. Regular worker, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's already heading in a bad direction. No, that's going to hit those poles. Come on, please work. I got to sell bales. Oh, that, that looks a bit better. Alright, let's hope for the best. Where's our truck? Yep, I'm going to drive this down to the sell point. And then uh, we'll see how much we get for this. Alright, here we are. Let's sell the last of the bales. I made a lot of money off these bales. It's crazy. They are definitely worth it. Alright. Come on. We'll get over 200,000. 243. 45,000 for that. What? A full trailer load last time was only 43. Is the price still going up? Wow, yeah. Look at that price. That's nice. I had to make a new course for that guy with the cultivator because he just the hired guy just drove right into the lake or the river. So I just messed around with the waypoints and stuff and I got it somewhat working so it's gonna dodge the poles. Hopefully it works. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this truck back to the farm now. And I'm going to start with the, the seeding myself. I'll do a couple of passes and then that should be it for this video, I think. I don't know how long I've been recording for, actually. But yeah, see you guys back at the farm. Oh yeah, I just remembered this is a leased trailer, but I'll park it here for now. Another thing I looked in here, or on this map, it also has some other crop types like carrots. Is there any on here? Nope. I'd like to try carrots. See how how it goes with that, but yeah. Alright. Let's get in the case. Take it over to the field and do a couple of passes with the cedar. I've never used the cedar before. Looks pretty good though. Nice size. I don't know what I'm going to do with all my money now. <laughs> I'm so rich. 
But that field, uh, what is it? Field four. That's a massive field, and I, uh, I seeded it with corn, so we should be able to make some pretty good money off there. It's crazy. All right, yeah. Let's seed canola in here. So I want to go lower. Turn on. There we go. We're seeding canola. Straight ahead of us there, there's like a placeable area. I was thinking maybe instead of buying the dairy barn over there, we buy that placeable area and we place down a like a, a cow shed or something. A, a nice modded one. I like that idea. Or a pig one. Pig barn. I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to do with this cash yet. Maybe we upgrade something. But we're going to make so much money from these fields. They're huge. This is a pretty nice setup. Oh, I do have GPS on this tractor, actually. But I can't use it yet because there's not enough room for that. That guy's still going. He missed a bit. Yeah, I'll have to finish up the cultivating after because the course I set it on is missing a bit because the first course it doesn't line up so but that's alright as long as he's not hitting these poles I just wish they didn't have collisions it's so annoying because on this map you really do need course play or hired workers because it's just huge you'd be here for like days doing these fields Yeah, once I get back to the field entrance, then I'll probably call it for this video. Yeah, see, he's missing a strip here just because of that new course, but oh well. I'll just do that after. No big deal. Yeah, with this cornfield here, yeah, I was thinking about silaging it, but nope, I'm not silaging that field. <laughs> not by myself. Uh, well, I guess I'd use the follow me, but that's a lot of work. I'm just going to combine it. Just use the corn header on the combine. That's crazy. But that's what they do in Iowa, right? It's corn. The corn belt. Pretty sure that's, that's where it is. So the price should be good for corn on this map then, I'm guessing. <laughs> I like this case, it's pretty nice. Nice older one. Good engine sound. I like that cedar too. Very nice. there. This is our first headland pass for this field. Ah, he missed quite a bit there. Hopefully I don't... or he doesn't go and rip up my seed I just planted. Or else he is fired. Nice. 
I'm just going to go and save the course for that cultivating. Save. Oh, what field is this? Field 5. I do have some of these. There we go. What is he doing now? Hmm. Okay. Stop you there. Alright. That's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Whether it's a stream or a video. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.